just before this video starts. Just want to apologize for lack of frames and some of the clips in this video. So yeah, let's deal with it. But anyways, enjoy. So I may have progressed just a little bit since my last skyblock video. What kind of progression, you're asking? Well, here we go. I got a flower truth, a liver dagger, three fourths shadow assassin with a zombie knight chestplate, then full shadow assassin armor, a level 100 baby yeti pet. Then it got nerfed to non-existence like this Bed Wars player's IQ. Then a black cat pet, but sold it later to get full Necron. Then full Necron, and yeah, that's all. For the equipment progression, now moving on to my skill progression. Last video I was combat 19, but now I double that. I got combat 20, combat 21, combat 22, combat 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, then combat 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35... Oh god, I must have dozed off. Anyway, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and finally, combat 43. I also got to zombie level 8, spider level 6, wolf slayer 6, and void gloom level 4. Now moving on to the rare RNG drops that I've obtained during now and last video. So I got two legendary Enderman pet. No way, no way, no way. Holy frickin' friggity fricks. Oh my god. Oh my god, I actually just got it, 76,000 kills, oh I'm still shaking so bad, finally, the grind is over, GG's, legendary enderman pet, acquired, and here's my second legendary enderman pet drop. And I got my second one at 129,000th skill. Before we go any further, let me just direct your attention to this red button over here. <coughs> According to YouTube analytics, only 32% of you guys are actually subscribed. Okay, this is too cringe. Cut the camera. But anyways, just click that button. Really appreciate it. And now, continuing the video. I also got two Shadow Assassin chest plates from Floor 5 in Dungeons. Also, a Livid Dagger from Floor 5. And I managed to drop a Summoning Ring during a Floor 6 run. 
but if you think that's lucky, look at these screenshots from Ray. He's dropped four Skater pets, and two of them are epic, and two of them are rare. So he made like 500 mil at least, and he's dropped a giant sword and basically everything I've dropped. Look, at least I still dropped two Shadow Assassin chest plates, so I can still feel good about myself. Oh yeah, and guess what else he got? He got a Necron's handle. Ray, you're too lucky. Stop. Then I got some fairy cells so I can actually survive against damage. And I collected enough of them to make this tiny montage. After that, I started doing some Wolf Slayer quests. And you're probably thinking, Z, why are you doing Wolf Slayers? Isn't the point of this video about slaying some tall dudes who are afraid of water? Well, the Void Gloom Slayer actually requires you to defeat a tier 4 Sven Packmaster, which is the most deadly Slayer boss in the Wolf section. So I began my quest to defeat this powerful beast. And just like that, it ended in less than 10 seconds. I could now begin my journey to defeat Void Gloom Seraphs, but I really needed a new healing orb because the Void Gloom Seraphs do a crap ton of damage, so I aimed to get the Mana Flux Orb, which will give me plus 50% base mana regen, heal me for 2% of my max health per second, and grant me plus 10 strength. And now, it's time to grind. So I got to Wolf Slayer level 6 and I acquired the Mana Flux Orb and I could now finally start Void Gloom Slayer since I was already very late on this new end update. So I wanted to grind some Void Gloom Slayer levels, but the problem was that tier 1 Void Glooms only give you 5 XP when you slay it. But tier 2 Void Glooms give you 25 XP while it has 50 times more health and does 4 times more damage than the tier 1 Void Gloom Slayer. So what option did I choose? The tier 2 obviously. Tem 7. Okay, we got this. Ah, uh, we got a siphon. Siphon. The other. Oh god. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Huh? What? Where did he go? What? Oh, he's back here. Ah, uh, stop running away. Why is there another person here? Mm. I feel like I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, please. Okay, attempt 8. I'm nearly about to spawn it. Uh... Wait, I don't have my thingies. My summon... Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. I need mana. Okay, let's just face it. Uh, uh, no, I'm dead. Ah, uh, yeah. Eventually. So it's been a few days, and I've gotten quite good at slaying Void Gloom Seraphs.
But here's the problem. The goal of this video was to slay a tier 3 Void Gloom Seraph, and that thing had 66 million health. So I got full final destination armor, which can only be worn when you are Enderman Slayer level 4. And I got that recently while slaying tier 2 Void Glooms. This armor is particularly unique since it has a full set ability that will give you plus 100 strength, plus 30 attack speed, plus 10 speed, gain 1.5 times your intelligence, plus 200 ferocity, and plus 100% damage to Enderman. All at the cost of 2 soul flow, which is like mana. But it can only be obtained from minions that have the lesser soul flow engine or the soul flow engine minion upgrade equipped. Or you can just buy soul flow from the bazaar at a very low cost. Alright, so I'm actually gonna buy a Void Edge Katana from the auction house because I'm obviously not going to be able to deal enough damage with the Livid Dagger. I think I found a decent one over here, and I'm just gonna buy this. Uh, rip my purse. Alright, let's claim it. Uh... I don't even think this does more damage than a liver dagger. Not sure anyways. Uh, let's test it. Oh! Was that 15k? Was that 150k? No. Liver dagger does 84k. And the void edge katan does 151k. Oh my. That is double the damage. I don't even think this does more damage than a liver dagger. Oh my god, definitely gonna use this. So I got my new weapon, and it's just a little overpowered. And now it's finally time to try and slay a tier 3 Void Gloom Seraph. Alright, this is the last one. Ah, it spawned. Mana flux down. 60 hits. Oh my god. Lucky I have a lot of, uh, what's that called? Ferocity. Oh my god, 60 million health. Ah. Oh god, I'm low. This boss does so much damage. I gotta focus. Oh, my mana flux gone. 50 million left. Oh. Alright, attempt to... Uh, I'm probably gonna die, but okay. This is just spamming the ability, and then spamming left and right click, and healing. Ah. It takes away so much health. Uh oh, lag. Uh Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, oh, I'm dead. So I may not be able to kill it by myself, but I do have one more trick up my sleeve. I called Ray. Is he even online? Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. Gonna start the Slayer quest. Two more kills. Oh, one more. Oh god, it's one. Mana flux down. Ah. Alright. Oh god. It does so much damage. Heal. Use spot ability. 
Oh wow, Valkyrie, or is that Hyperion? Heal. Oh, hit phase. Jesus, that was fast. Beacon. Oh god. Alright, we got it. Oh jeez, the particles. Alright, I got this. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I got it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's here. Another beacon. I got this. Another one. Alright. 22 million health left. Oh, we can do this. I just gotta keep healing. Oh, I just look at it. Oh god, lag. Another skull. Beacon. Ah. 14 mil left. Oh jeez, I am low. Beacon. We're so close. Where'd it go? Oh. Skull. Are we winning? Skull. Ah. Uh, two mil. One mil. Oh, <gasps> we win! Yo! Let's go. So now I'm basically caught up with the updates. Until I stumbled across this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What? Crimson Isle? Oh! What? What? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's another update? I'm late! Again?